Hello, my name is John Hicks, and my colleagues, Dr. Lewis and Ms. Alfaro, would like to invite you to participate in a workshop for incorporating statistics in high school through the implementation of the R programming language. Thanks to a partnership with Niswanger, ETSU was offering this workshop as part of the STEM Learning Design, or STEM LD grant. R is a free open source software environment under the new general public license. This is an interpreted language used primarily for data analysis through statistical computings, graphics, simulations, and limitations only by our own imaginations. Recently, R has been ranked 11th in popularity by the TIOBE index. During our workshops, we will concentrate on learning outcomes set by the Tennessee State Standards. We will group each workshop by similar topics from statistics and probability found in Algebra 1 and 2 and Integrated Math 1 through 3, ranging from univariate statistics, which is just statistics on one variable, relationships between two variables and modeling, and finally, topics and probability, dealing with the normal distribution, the empirical rule, and so forth. For each topic, we'll discuss the topic as it pertains to the evidence of learning statement presented by the state of Tennessee. As it can be with anything in life, at the very beginning, it may seem kind of daunting, and R is no exception to this. So at the beginning, we would like to actually gain familiarity with the R software program just by introducing some smaller data sets so that we can easily calculate our summary statistics and graphical displays. And as we become more familiar with the syntax of actually telling what R to do, we can import some larger data sets. And from these larger data sets, we can work with calculating the summary statistics, getting our graphical displays, and finally work on interpretation through this data analysis. But of course, a good question to ask yourself is, why would I need to use R? Who's actually using it and what can it be used for? So R can be found in e-commerce, healthcare, banking, social media, and finance. And it's commonly used by companies such as Google, Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft, Airbnb, The New York Times, just to name a few, as your students prepare to enter the workforce.